Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a sit down video because I just decided that it is Friday night and I'm bored. And so I decided I'll just do a little sit down video. I have my hazelnut cream candle going. It smells amazing. If you guys don't have it, go get it. It's at Walmart. Anyways, so today I just decided that I would do a um, review, kind of like a review, get ready with me kind of thing. I'm going to be testing out the Morphe. 9b bronze bay palette um it is these super bronzy shades warm tones i'm very excited so um i got this in a white elephant and so i was like might as well give it a try i have two other morphe palettes so one is the 35n and one is the 35f i think that's what they are there's like little stickers on the back that say that so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into it. All right, so first, okay, I'm gonna take my glasses off. This is weird, I hardly do videos with my glasses off. I'm new at this and so I'm still, like I only have one ring light and so I'm just trying to use like the best lighting I could with what I have and so you'll just have to work with me on it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Jur Jura, I can't say it. This body cream is actually for your body, but I'm gonna use it for my face. I'm just gonna put this on my face. It's just kind of moisturize my face. I'm just gonna put little dots. Oh goodness. Okay. Okay, so now that my face is all moisturized, I am gonna prime my eyelids. And for that, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay eyeshadow um primer potion so this stuff is super awesome i got this in a holiday set a couple years ago and i love it i mean i never really use it i usually just use concealer but i use it on occasion so i'm just gonna prime my eyelids this stuff like i feel like used to be super hyped up and stuff and like nobody talks about it anymore but i still use it okay so Here's what it looks like. It's super tiny. Like, look at it. Oh my goodness. I love this. And then I'm going to open it up. So here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, these shades are beautiful. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 35N. And I'm going to use probably this color, which is more of a white cream. It's still cream, but it looks white on camera. And then I'm going to set my eyelids i'm gonna use a morphe brush i'm just gonna this is gonna be a morphe video guys so i don't know what brush this is because it like honestly my sister gave it to me a while ago and it's just like a morphe white and black brush so if you guys know what it is let me know because i have no idea so i'm just gonna take that color and use it to set my eyelids also am i the only one in the universe who hates using new products because they look they look so pretty and like i just hate it like i obviously i mean by the looks of this i ruined palettes so okay ew the lighting is horrible anyways okay so i'm just setting that with that cream color again it's this color right here so now that my eyelids are set i'm gonna go in with the same brush Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use both these palettes. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this shade for my crease. I'm just gonna take that color and I'm going to blend it into my crease. I usually do it a little bit above my crease because I have really small eyelids. And so I kind of make it a little bit bigger because my crease is really small. And so yeah. It's like windshield wiper motions. Kind of do it in the outer V as well, but windshield wiper motions. And then do the other eye. Actually, I think I'm gonna do one eye at a time after this crease color, because I'll do one eye on camera and one eye not, probably. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Hang 10 shade right here. It's like an orangey brown. I'm gonna take another of the Morphe white and black brushes. Guys, don't even judge me for not knowing what they are. And I'm just gonna take that color into, I'm gonna do it in my crease, but more defined in my crease. 
I'm not a pro at this, guys. I still don't know what I'm doing. And I still look at the viewfinder a lot, so just don't hate me, okay? So just more defined in the crease, just because we still want that crease color to show. Only thing that I noticed about Morphe eyeshadows is that they're super, like... Do you guys see that? Like, it has a lot of kickback. But honestly, like, that does not bother me at all. And so... If it bothers you, you would not like this palette at all. So I'm just working this color in my crease a little bit in the outer V. And then I'm going to take that same other, like that crease brush. And I'm going to blend those two colors together so there's no harsh lines. So please ignore my eyelash extensions. I know they are like practically gone. Okay. So, so the next shade I'm going to go into. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do Beach Please. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. blending brush. I think this is the, oh, it's a crease brush. So it's like the black brushes from, from e.l.f. See, so it's the crease brush. And again, I'm gonna go in with the shade Beach Please. And this, I'm really gonna work. I'm gonna do this really precise in the crease but still keep it in the crease and not anywhere, like nowhere above, like keep it under both those colors. That's why I'm using a smaller brush because I want to keep it more precise. I think I'm going to do, do you guys see that? Anyways, keeping it very precise. We, I think I'm going to do a cut crease. So, so do you guys see what that's looking like? Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with one of the other Morphe brushes and just blend those colors out. There, uh, that's better. Okay, so that's all I'm really gonna do with the crease. So this is what it looks like. Not done, ignore my lashes, good. And my brows, my brows are so bad. Anyways, so that's all I'm gonna do with the crease, but I'm gonna cut my crease and for that, I am going to use my Maybelline New York um, concealer in the shade Ivory. Anyways, I'm going to put this on the back of my hand, just right there, and I'm going to use that to cut my crease. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild um, eyeliner brush. I use that to cut the crease. I don't think anybody can talk when they do this. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Not very good at cut creases, but I decided to be a little bit of a rebel. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And I'm definitely going to use this pink shade, which is Vacay. So that's going to be the color that I use on my lid. I'm going to use this brand that's from Ross. I honestly not going to try to pronounce it. And this is the shade brush. Okay, so I got my brush wet, and I'm going to try this shade Vacay. Well, that's not paying off. Let's see on my finger. Oh, that's so... That's not even pink. Like, that doesn't even look pink on the finger. Okay. It's more of like a bronzy pink. So, it's still cute, though. Okay, I'll definitely have to try to use my brush for this part. To get it more precise. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean up this mess and then do this eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished the other eye. I think I'm gonna take this shade, Volcano, and I think I'm gonna smudge it like eyeliner. Or actually, maybe I'll use Midnight Drip. It's a little bit shimmery, but I think it'll be nice. So yeah, I'm gonna smudge it right here. Kind of going up, like flick it up. Okay, I'm gonna use that same brush that I used and I'm just gonna kind of smoke it out. All right, so that is the eye look. Before I do the bottom lash line, I'm gonna prime my face with two different primers. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and the NYX Honey Do Me Up. So I'm gonna do the NYX Do Me Up first. Just because I have really dry skin, I like to prime with a lot of moisturizing products. So, 
just gonna so I don't really know much about YouTube and social media and I'm trying so hard to learn a lot of the ways I guess would be the word and let me just tell you guys it's really hard because there's a lot more to it than I really thought there was and so I feel completely lost and like you need like special lighting and like i have a ring light luckily because i did lash extensions like i used to do lash extensions on people and so luckily i had that but i don't know like the good angles or like anything like that and so i feel lost and i feel like i'm doing this all wrong so <laughs> bear with me okay so i think i'm gonna use the l'oreal um pro glow I think I should have shook this up first. I'm gonna use my, it's really beat up guys, it looks disgusting. My Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge. I use this so much, obviously. And so it's really beat up. I'm not very good at the makeup video stuff. I'm just gonna put this on my face. So if you guys do this stuff, if anybody that I don't know or do, do know and does this kind of stuff, can you give me some advice because I honestly am completely lost on what the heck I'm doing. Like I honestly feel like, I mean obviously I'll get used to it, but I am just hoping I'm doing this right. Like obviously the makeup part, I know, but like the recording and lighting, obviously the lighting is not the best. And I obviously need like a backdrop or something, which I'm going to be working on getting stuff like that for my makeup videos because I definitely want my videos to be the best quality they can be. Which is why I got a new camera because that is very, 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 very important to me. And I want, I really want to succeed in what I'm trying to do with this channel because I am trying to do it for fun, obviously, but I'm also trying to like make a career out of it and... I really enjoyed doing it, so if you guys have any advice, please let me know. Also, I forgot to highlight my brows. Actually, I'm going to do them first. Okay, so I'm going to use the NYX um, Professional Eyebrow Powder Pencil. It's just in the shade, I think it's taupe. No, espresso. And so it just looks like this. It has like the pen on one side and then the spoolie on the other. So I'm just gonna use this to do my brows and I'm gonna do them off camera really quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the brows are done. They're a bit red just because I never really use that brow pencil and I guess they it's just a little red for me, but that's okay. It kind of goes with this look. So I went ahead and cleaned them up with some, with some concealer. Then I'm also gonna take it and use it to highlight and also cover up some circles. It's a little bit dark for me. I'm gonna be completely honest, but honestly, this is the only concealer I have right now. I ran out of my other one, so. And I'm gonna try to cover up these pimples because I have some acne. Okay, so, and then I'm just gonna take my sponge again and blend it out. Luckily, this concealer is is like not super drying so like you have plenty of time to like work with it okay now i am going to set my face and i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me powder and fair i use a lot of maybelline products as you guys can tell so i'm going to set my under eyes i don't really set a lot i usually set my under eyes because they don't get super dry but like so i kind of just set the places that you know don't get super, super, super dry. So I'm just gonna kind of bake my under eye, kind of, just like slightly. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Um, face brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face, just kind of sweep in some, okay. Just kind of sweeping some powder, not a ton of powder on my face. I don't even let this bake for long, like I'm gonna sweep it away right now. All right, I'm looking a bit pale. 
thanks to that concealer. It's okay, we'll bronze it up a little bit. I'm gonna take the Maybelline, of course, this Maybelline contour palette. It is medium dark, which my husband got for me. So it's a little bit dark. So if you guys can see, but it still works. So I'm not mad about it. And I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild contour brush and just go right into it. Contour, cause I look like a ghost. Obviously I need to update my makeup because you guys know. I'm gonna kind of contour my jaw just a little bit, kind of bring it down my forehead a little bit because you guys know I accidentally have the wrong colors, but that's okay. I think the light is also washing me out a little bit, so whatever. Anyways. I'm just gonna blend that out. And then I usually don't use blush, but I'm just gonna use the blush that's in this palette. So just because it's a full face and yeah, I'm gonna use a stippling brush by BH Cosmetics. Look how pigmented it is. And I'm just gonna barely put some on. It's a little bit dark for me as well. So I don't even know if you guys can see it. Just gonna be very gentle with it. Anyways, then I'm going to take my powder again and I'm just gonna make it super defined. So yeah, I'm gonna define my contour. You guys can see. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. And then I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm gonna take the same things so I'm gonna take my elf brush and I'm gonna I'm gonna take hang 10 and I'm gonna put that underneath my eye I'll zoom you guys back in I'm just gonna take that and blend it all under my eye I'm going to take I'm gonna take a smaller brush it's just a Ross little brush and I'm gonna take beach please and I'm gonna put that in just like the outer part right here and then slightly drag it, but not a lot. I'm just gonna wipe away that bake underneath my contour. Then I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. It has like this tiny brush that's really good for bottom lashes. Just gonna... I'm gonna set my brows while I'm here. I'm gonna use the Rimmel brow this way brow styling gel and I'm just gonna set my brows so that they're nice and set and they're not going anywhere okay then I'm going to be using the Maybelline master holographic highlight looks like this and I'm gonna be putting this on my cheeks on the high points of my face, pretty much. So I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, I'm actually gonna use Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in Blossom Glow. This one is a lot prettier. No offense. Yes. Do you guys see that? Oh, I almost just went into the eyeshadow palette. Look at that. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see that. Look. Oh my gosh, I love this highlight so freaking much. I'm just gonna put it on my nose and a little bit up here. I'm gonna put it above my eyebrows. And then a little bit on my chin and my cupid's bow. Then I'm gonna take some on my finger and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. So freaking pretty. Perfect. Then I'm gonna take this shade in the palette and it is called Sunny's and I'm gonna use that in my inner corner. So I'm just gonna take out my finger. It's a little bit gold. See, it's a bit gold. This one's not as creamy as the other ones feel. So I'm gonna put this and then I'm gonna, actually maybe I'll leave it. 
Okay. Then, maybe I'll put some on here. Yes. I might honestly put some in the middle of my eyes right here. So it'll make it pop a little bit more. Just slightly. Just to make it like more pop. Okay, I'm just gonna take the spoolie that is on my eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna brush out my lashes. The little bit that I have left. Oh my gosh, I literally have like none. This so eye look is gonna look so weird without lashes. All right, I need to put a lip on. All right, so I just put on some lipstick, but I didn't like it. So I'm gonna try this Tardist. Um, I think it's Tardi Tardist um, lip paint. It doesn't have the shade. Oh, it's in birthday suit. So it's kind of a pinky nude, but this is like the only nudish color I have. Um, so it's gonna have to work. It works, whatever. And then I'm gonna set my face with the Grace and Stella Hydrating Rose Facial Spray. If you guys want to check them out, go on Amazon. They have, just type in Grace and Stella. They have a ton of products. I have their facial spray. They have like a wax kit. They have all kinds of crazy stuff and it's super awesome. They also have this face roller, which, oh my gosh, guys, it is so amazing. It's so cooling on your skin and it helps to like reduce puffiness and redness. You need it. So I'm just going to set my face with their rose water and it is with rose extract and aloe vera. So go check them out. And then I'm just going to use my beauty blender and let that sink into my skin. Also, I have never used that L'Oreal foundation, but I actually really love it. Here's like a close-up of my face. Like it's like, obviously I'm always going to have like my smile lines and my lines right here. But like my skin looks kind of amazing. It looks so smooth. So beautiful. So, here is the finished look. We got the eyes going on. So here it is. It's a little dark for me. So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't feel like comfortable at all in this makeup, but that's what YouTube is for. Here it is with my glasses. I'm looking at the viewfinder too much. Anyways, so this completes that look. Here's the lips. Here's everything up close. Get those eyes. There it is. And this would be good for the holidays, I guess. It's a bit of a warmer look. I'm going to tell you guys that I love this palette. Like, oh my gosh, it's all dirty now. Anyways, I love this palette. I love the colors in it. Like, it is beautiful. I love this palette so much. Like, I'm definitely going to use this a lot more. The only complaint is, is there no cream or, like, whitish colors, which I really like matte, like, white creams and stuff like that. But it is amazing, and it's super, like, compact, so you can take this anywhere compared to, like, their their bigger palettes. I just want to say I love Morphe. I love every product that I use in this video, unless I said otherwise. Um, so yeah, definitely go get this palette and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe and yeah, see you guys. Mwah.